Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you three super powerful weapons in Dead Island 2 you can grab early. These three weapons are all hiding in starting areas and don't require any leveling up to get. They're really going to give you an edge when it comes to taking out zombies. You'll literally be able to take out your enemies in half the time with these weapons. So let's get into it. Okay, the first powerful weapon you can grab straight away is the Tactical Heavy Revolver. Now, this gun packs a punch. It can take out most zombies in one shot, and it's a great way to test out the gunplay in this game early on. Usually it takes a few hours to start finding guns in Dead Island 2, but you can get this revolver straight away by following what you see here. So what you want to do is head to Cliff Curtis's mansion. This is located in Beverly Hills. All you have to do is kill the screamer in the outhouse for the safe key. Then open the safe in the mansion. Here's how to do that. Alright, the next powerful weapon you can get your hands on is the Defiant Hunting Knife. This is a really fast, really powerful knife. You can get in like four or five slashes in quick succession without the enemy even having time to react. And you can really do a lot of DPS with this weapon. It's a lot of fun to use, especially when you upgrade it to, to have, say, like electric damage or flame damage to set your enemies on fire. To get yourself this blade early on, simply head to Beverly Hills and kill a specific zombie who has a key. Then use this key to unlock the secret safe. Here's how to do that. Our third and final powerful weapon you can grab early in Dead Island 2 is the ridiculously fun rake. It comes with the maiming perk which chops off limbs way more frequently and the sturdy handle perk for increased durability. The rake has great range so you can kill zombies without getting too close, a really nice kill animation where you just like smash the rake down on someone's head and the upgrades you can do with this are amazing. I've put on a melee impactor mod which increases physical damage, force and trauma and also added the empowering mod for better critical hits. And this is the easiest weapon to get out of the lot. You don't have to fight a single zombie, all you have to do is leave your starting base in Bel Air and break some crates to access a hidden area. The hidden area not only contains the rake but a blueprint and a bunch of crafting materials as well. Here's where to go.
So that was how to get a quick power boost early on in Dead Island 2 by looting these three great weapons. Thanks for watching and for more Dead Island 2 guides, subscribe to the channel.